ready for you to come by for a tasting. Yes, Kevin Hernandez is out there live with more. Ooh, what's going on there? Hi. You know, it's mornings like this. It's mornings like this where I'm like, why am I having to work? Because I'd rather be enjoying this amazing wine flight. <laughs> but again, here at Cask Winery in Loomis, the beautiful Cask Winery, I might mention, uh, here with winemaker, owner, founder, Kevin Stevenson. Okay, Kevin, so you guys are back open and full swing. I know that your industry in particular was hit due to the COVID-19 hit pretty hard. So what's it like to finally be back open and full swing? It's pretty awesome, not yeah. gonna lie. Um... We were pretty fortunate in that we have a nice outdoor space here, so we sure. never had to really shut down completely. Mm -hmm. um, we were just on a little bit lower volume, I guess. Sure. Uh, and of course, we were all masked up uh, a couple of weeks ago. That yeah. that got lifted. Yeah. So things are a little calmer, a little more freer. We can do a little bit of indoor tasting now, which exactly. did not happen until last weekend. Exactly. So. Especially with the temperatures like today, some people might want to be indoors where it's a little bit cooler. So now this is just one of the many tastings that you do here. Now this is a um, a flight of eight glasses here eight different wines and it's really inexpensive fifteen dollars for eight eight samplings here right yeah and we try to be reasonably generous with our yeah. pours uh, i'm kind of a stickler for that uh -huh. i want people to actually be able to enjoy every wine absolutely smell it and taste it um, absolutely. so yeah i think eight is probably uh, a good number that's yeah. very generous now tell us about some of the wines that you offer here at cask yeah, we tend to focus on the Rhone varietals, which are varieties like Syrah and Viognier that come from the southern area in France. Mm -hmm. The climate is dry and hot like we have here, mm -hmm. um, and those are the ones we concentrate on. We, we get a lot of fruit from El Dorado, Amador, as well as Placer County here. Fantastic. And so um, what are some of the things that you have coming up this summer or anything in particular that you have planned out here at Cask? Again, just to get people excited to be back out and wine tasting again. Yeah, you know, we don't have to do too much. People are pretty excited yeah. already. Yeah. Uh, we've noticed just really in the last couple, three weeks, things have just kind of exploded again, yeah. uh, which is, is very gratifying to see. Obviously, there's a lot of pent-up demand out there. Yeah. Uh, our, our normal uh, thing we do here in the summertime is we do a Friday night thing mm -hmm. where we have uh, some live music from uh, 5 to 8, bring in a food truck, and we all just chill out. It's very calm and relaxed. People can enjoy wine on the patio, and yeah, and that'll go through into September. Absolutely. Now let's um, let's give a shout out to some of the other businesses that are right here on the property because it's a giant, um, you know, little complex of businesses, right? That people can come out and visit. So tell us who they are. Yeah. So the the ten acres here is is the flower farm property, um, run and owned by John Andy Bowler, good okay. friends of ours. Uh, this space is our our space, our yeah. business, but we also have the flower farm nursery right next door to mm -hmm. us. The cafe is right next door to us as well. Yeah. And then, of course, they run the big wedding and event center in the back yep. and a B&B. &B. So it's all a lot of synergy flowing around the property. Yeah. I love that. So people can really come out. They can make a morning of it, a day of it. But again, you always want them to either start or end their day here. Probably end their day here, right? After they've had some food in their system. Uh, that's not a bad idea, <laughs> yes. Yeah, when you're yeah. wine tasting, right? <laughs> so again, tell everybody at home where Cask Winery is located and your hours of operation. Yeah, so we're open Thursday through Sunday, 11 to 5 and then we do the late thing on Friday uh, until the end of September. If you want to come out for that, it books up ahead. Uh, so get online, check out our website. Uh, we're four miles due east of Loomis on Horseshoe Bar Road at the intersection of Horseshoe Bar and Auburn Folsom Road. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting us come out. And uh, Jordan and Tina, I hope to see one of you out here with me. The show's over in a little bit here. So. <laughs> oh, he's Have fun, out. KK. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Have some 